Hey guys, it's Christina with Christina's 200. So, I have definitely been missing in action. Um, I don't know. I know that I completely fell off the deep end. Went totally crazy. And I have actually come back to keto a couple of times, but I refused to film until I could get it under control. Needless to say... I was only fooling myself. I could go like two weeks and then I cheated again and there was always a reason to cheat. There was always a reason and then once I had cheated, I mean I'm out of ketosis, right? So might as well get everything I want to eat out of my system while it's going. Um, I would say about two weeks ago. I was on keto for two weeks solid and literally like after the second week I was like okay so I'm gonna start filming again I'm doing great it was crazy I've got my um, my fitness pal updated when as I was doing everything um, I mean I was crushed because if you've been following my channel I had gotten down to like 298 so I have seen below 300 I started my weight loss journey at 375, so that was pretty big. Um, so anyway, I had when I stepped on the scale a while, a little while ago, um, which kind of got me like back into wanting to do my keto and continue and do what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I was 333, I think it was, and. Um, it was crazy, like the first week I lost, I think it was like 18 pounds, like I lost a whole bunch the first week just by changing what I was eating and I know 80% of it, 90% of it was probably all water weight, I mean I know that it was water weight because I was no longer swollen, um, I didn't have any, like I tend to get swelling in my ankles and on my shins and things like that, I sit here at my desk for long periods of time. I live here pretty much, um, especially right now, softball season, um, graduation. I've been working nonstop, and when I work, I want a snack, and there's always a reason to snack. Matter of fact, tonight I have an all-nighter pretty much, and I'm trying very hard to not just go back to my old ways. Matter of fact, when I leave here, I'm going to go to the grocery store before I go home to work from home. Um, and I'm going to get some pepperoni and some cheese. At, oh, I have cheese at home. So I'm going to get some pepperoni and I'm going to make some little pepperoni crisp type things. That was another job uh, message. Anyway, so I am trying to anyway I ramble I'm sorry um I lost like I said about 18 pounds then the following week I lost like three or four and I even started gaining a couple pounds even though I was staying keto and I know I've done keto for quite some time now and I know that it's just my body readjusting getting ready to continue but it was kind of crushing because I'm like, ugh, I'm behaving, I'm doing what I'm supposed to, and I'm starting to gain. It was only a couple pounds. I'm so hard on myself, and I know I shouldn't be. Um, and then, I don't even remember what the excuse was. Um, I don't know. There had to have been some sort of magical excuse why I needed to cheat, and I did, and it continued, and I get to listen to my kids saying, Mom, aren't you supposed to be on a diet? Why? Like, it's awful, guys, and I know that other people can relate to me. Literally, you hide food so your kids don't see you eating certain things. It's really bad, um, and I can't just eat one thing if I'm eating it's, I don't know. Anyway, when I got back, um, before I had cheated, I was down to about 316. Um, so I had lost quite a few and I was doing really good. Should have been super excited. I don't know. 
And that was only like a week ago. And a week and a half ago. And I went crazy again. Cheated again. And Saturday when I stepped on the scale, it said 340.8 or something like that. And I was like, no freaking way. Going keto right now. Not waiting till Monday. Needless to say, my daughter was like, okay, well, you know, it's Mother's Day. It was Sunday. Mother's Day, eat pizza. We're going to do this. We're having this. So Monday was my day one back keto. <laughs> Today's only Tuesday. It's the end of the day. I have behaved myself. But oh my gosh, the cravings. I haven't really been hungry because I've been eating a good breakfast. Um, basically right now I'm going, at least for this week, to kind of stay somewhat strict keto. What I usually eat when I'm doing keto, if I'm like really behaving. <laughs> so I do two eggs, four ounces of um, sausage, and um, some provolone cheese. And I just scramble my eggs and my I brown my eat my eat I brown my meat and then I scramble the eggs in there and put some cheese on top. Um, and then for lunch, usually like a hamburger patty that I cook that's eight ounces um, and some cheese on top of that lettuce tomato. Uh, and then for dinner, usually some sort of steak or meat of some sort, uh, avocado, cheese just kind of that area uh, and that's pretty much what I eat I know I'm supposed to be eating more greens and all of that and eventually yes I will right now I'm just enjoying my keto um, I think one of the biggest sabotages for me are fat bombs uh, normally if I make a batch of fat bombs I can't just eat one it's, it's the trigger of the sweet tooth. And so I tell myself that it's okay and, you know, it's not. <laughs> so, anyway, here I am back again. When I weighed in on Monday, it was one, or sorry, well, I wish one day it'll be one something, but it was um, 341.2. And today when I weighed in, it was 338.4. So 1.6 down from yesterday. But again, we're going to see a lot of fast weight loss this week. And it's all going to be pretty much water weight and everything. Because I am definitely um, have swelling in my ankles and in my legs. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I will eventually get around to doing my pictures and everything. And I'm just really glad to be back, part of the community. I cannot wait. I've actually been seeing a few videos pop up. Um, and so I am going to get caught up with everybody. I know that there's a few uh, YouTubers that I really enjoy watching. And so I'm going to go in and kind of see where they're at. I think uh, part of my, my total binge that I went on um, wouldn't allow me mentally to even watch any videos. I get notifications all the time and I just kind of stayed away. You know, you, it's definitely a mental thing. You get into your head and I don't know. So we're back at it again. Um, being that I am at 338 again, that means I'm only down what 35 pounds 30 that's correct math right <laughs> yes I'm only down 35 pounds which really kind of sucks for me because I've been down 78 pounds before so this would be like my third time completely restarting again is it my third or my fourth? I don't even know anymore this has definitely been a long process and you'd think I would know better Anyway, I know that I know better. This is why when I stepped on there, it, I just got crushed. Crushed. So back to no more sodas, no more anything. I have my meal here. So 
my water. So, yeah, no more sodas. I'm just going to behave myself again. <laughs> I really need support, guys. Um, I think I'm going to see what all's going on in the YouTube community and what everyone's doing. And I'm definitely a joiner because when I'm actually participating in things, that is what keeps me on track. And so I knew I didn't want to be the girl who cried weight loss and keep coming back. But I also know that being on here and keeping myself accountable with my daily weigh-ins are pretty much the only way I will stay accountable. So here it is. I can't wait to see you guys again and bye.